You know, when people are stressed or anxious, they all deal with it in completely different ways. There's one art teacher in Winston-Salem that is using her craft, that would be art, of course, to help her students deal with the pandemic. It's pretty cool. Take a look. Catherine, this is such a cool idea and such a cool project. How did the idea come around and then what's happening with it now? One of the things our county really promoted was trying to find ways to stay connected to your students and keep them engaged in learning. Um, and one of the things I found was, you know, how do you engage people that are going through such uncertain and unprecedented times? What do you do? How do you how do you try to inspire a kid to want to, you know, draw still lifes or do math when their complete life is torn apart. So um, one of the things I decided was, you know what, I need to put the teacher in me aside and really bring out the artist and the human in me to try to connect with my students on a, a personal level and hope that they connect it back with me. All of us are experiencing this pandemic very differently. And so I wanted to see what it looked like through their eyes. And art is a universal language that's really great at capturing the visual experience of life in general. Um, so I opened it up to kids and said, make anything, say anything as long as it's appropriate, um, but show me what this looks like to you. When people say something good comes out of everything, I mean, this really probably got some people to do art that really came from their soul and not just from their hands. Oh, absolutely, and that was the thing. You know, some of my kids, you know, they, they don't want to, to be told what to do right now. They just want to experience it. They want to live it. And this allowed them to do something they don't normally have time to. Catherine, thank you so much for taking time out today. Keep up the good work. We love to hear from the students. So Catherine wants this really to go global if, if it can. So if you need a link to that website, just look for this story. It'll be on WFMYNews2.com right after the show. Um, and everybody can donate to this. She opened it up to her students, then eventually her friends, and then everybody else. So it's a pretty cool way to show expression. All right, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said they're creating art from their soul and their hearts, not just from their hands. Some of those images, Chilton, they really give a, a deeper look onto their emotions right now. Yes. And I think uh, in a lot of cases, too, it's um, it is probably the easiest way to express yourself without having to communicate it to somebody else. Just let it out through art. And she's doing a great thing. I think everybody should check it out. I love that. All right. Thank you so much for that story. Hey.